Sing something, you guys sing it back. Whoa. Welcome, everybody, to the Q-Town building. Welcome to everyone online for Q-Town Live. It's good to see you guys. I mean, we can't be with you right now. We can't have you guys in the same room, but we're glad you guys can join us online because we miss you. We miss having all of you at camp. We know you're all over 
Vancouver Island and the Lower Mainland and even beyond that. And this is our way to get everyone together in a way and have a cute town time together. All right, so thanks for joining us and being here with us. We have a big banner up in the Q-Town building. It says, Light It Up. And that is our theme for this entire year. And we're talking about what it means for God to light up our lives, right? And where Jesus said, I've come to shine as a light in this dark world so that everyone who puts their trust in me will no longer remain in the dark. And we want to sing that Light It Up song with you right now and have you do the actions with the action years and the whole thing. So get ready, get ready, get ready. <laughs> Like a city on a hill illuminates your lights in action and it will radiate cause your star is something your star is something big the world follow him then walk from darkness into life we begin cause forever starts now Just like a city on a hill a great time with day camps at Camp Quantle. It's a whole new experience for us over the last uh, three and a half weeks. And we wanted all you out there online to see a little sample of what we've been doing with some of our highlights. So check out these cute TV highlights of day camps.
illusion Every city, every nation We're one illumination Is that from the swing? Yeah, it's really rusty. Huh. I can't really get it to swing very well. Maybe someone should uh, get some oil or something like that. Someone's gonna have to climb that ladder. Well, it looks pretty high. I, I don't think I could do it. I couldn't go up there. What do we do? <laughs> What seems to be the problem, little troopers? The big swing needs to be oiled, but it's too dangerous to get up there. Don't worry, I'll fix that swing. Hey, Captain Q, what's that on your belt? Well, that's just my time machine. Anyway, off to fix the ladder. There, a job well done. Well, that should do it. But I suppose someone should test that swing. Stand aside, please. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. <gasps> but Captain Q, what about your time machine? All right, let me give this thing a try. <laughs> Well, that should do it. But I suppose someone should test it. Wait a minute. I'm sure it's just fine. Well, if he's not going to try it, I'd better try it. Here. Oh! Ugh. Ah! That's going to leave a mark, huh? The Kornos is safe once again. Ah. Hello everyone, my name is Fernando. I am the follow-up coordinator here at Camp Quanos. Um, and I'm here to tell you how much uh, we miss you guys here. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's just sad that you cannot be here, but we are glad that if you are watching this now, like we're just so happy that you online with us right now and we're able to connect quickly here. And I really hope you're having a great summer and I really hope you enjoy it tonight. So just want to tell you, like, the, you know, on behalf of our, all our staff, that we really wish you were here, and we're always thinking of you guys and praying for you. And actually, uh, I'm going to pray for you right now, if it's okay. So if you can pray with me quickly, I just want to pray for you guys. So uh, Lord Jesus, thank you so much for each one of those campers that are watching today. Uh, we love them. We know that you love them too. So we just, we just ask you, Lord, that tonight, if they are watching this, I want to ask you so, so you can fill them uh, with your love and, and your peace. And if they are scared of the times that we're living, I just want to pray that you're going to give them your peace and understanding that you are with them. You never abandon us. You never forsake us. So we're very thankful because you are with us all the time. 
And, yeah, I just pray for each one of them. And they, they remain healthy and well, and they have a great summer with the family. And we're so thankful for each one of them. So thank you, Jesus. You know, pray these things in your name. Amen. Thanks, guys. Hello, everyone. My name's Ben. I am the Youth Leadership Programs Coordinator here. And people all the times be asking me, Ben, what is happening at Camp Quanos? So I have 10 things for you that are happening right now at Camp Quanos. I've been told to keep it to a tight minute 40. Fernando, get that clock started. Here we go. Number one, day camps. Running Monday through Friday, uh, there is still space, by the way. If you are ages 8 to 16 and you want to join us here for our Quanos day camps, come on by. Call the front office. You can register anytime. Youth leadership programs are also happening. Uh, we have finished CIT 1 and Step Outs 1 and Almost 2, as well as the LIT training week. But there is still more CIT and more Step Out. If you are interested, if you're between 15 and 18, and you want to take your faith to the next level, dive deeper in a foundational understanding of God, then youth leadership programs just might be for you. Number three, Quano's MC in a world that tells us we need to stay apart. We have found a way to come together digitally. Quanos MC, that's Quanos Minecraft. Uh, make sure to come on Mondays at 8 as well as Wednesday or Friday each week as well. Uh, we're going to be doing some Quanos Minecraft. Number four, Beach Betty's online. Online merch, online shirts, online Betty. Quanos' is camp store. It's officially happening uh, at store.quanos.ca. Uh, drop on by, pick up some of your favorite Quanos merch online. Number five, Q4U. What is Q4U? Watch this video and find out. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. There's only one king, and that king is the Office! That did not leave a mark. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. q for You is our brand new Quanos variety show, uh, debuting Wednesday 29th at 8. And you can watch that at Quanos.online. Number six, virtual fireside. We are bringing together the four S's of a quality fireside song, skits, speaker, and fun for the whole family. Drop on by. <laughs> we got virtual fireside. Number seven, Q Town Live Online, happening in approximately, oh, now 100 hours. You're watching it right now, but there's going to be more in the future, so stay tuned for those. Number eight, 25 years of Q-Town. We are celebrating that here. We are listening to all kinds of music. We're listening to new music, including Light It Up and Made Alive here. You can also check it out on most major music apps and celebrate with us. Number nine, the virtual Quanos Road Tour. It's like the regular Quanos Road Tour on experience but online. It's going to be happening this fall. Stay tuned for those dates. And number 10, we have our online auctions and our upcoming fundraising drive. But enough from me. You're going to hear more about that from Abby. But first, Fernando, did I finish it in under a minute and 45? It's okay. We're going to say I did. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Abigail and I am the female head counselor this summer. Um, and as you've probably already heard, um, with camp not being able to run any of our on-site programs since about mid-May and also losing our overnight summer camps, um, camp is in a pretty tough financial situation. And so we are needing to raise a lot of money, well over a million dollars. And with that in mind, I would like to tell you that we'll be launching our a 10-day donation drive, which will be starting next week, Wednesday on the 29th of July, and that'll carry on until the 7th of August. Along that, with that, that'll include a 10-day online auction with some really cool things that you can bid on. Um, we think that's going to be pretty great, so we'd, like, I'd love to encourage you to just check either of those out um, and be a part of either of them or both of them. That'll be great. Any assistance will be really appreciated. And so now, yeah, back to some videos. When I came to camp, I tried so many new things. 
I overcame my fears, and that could happen for you too. I remember the first time I got off the bus at Kiwanis when I was 12 years old, and I already knew it was going to be the best week of my life. Lives really do change at camp, and I can't wait for you to experience what we all experience. I've been coming to camp since I was eight years old, and I'm so excited for you guys to experience the love that I felt here. When I first got here as a camper, I saw that everybody was so excited, and I just wanted to know why. Everyone here is full of life, joy, and love. The care my counselor had for me made me feel so loved, and I want you to experience that as well. Things that I learned and discovered here at Pilatos when I was a camper really changed my life. Every time I come to Pilatos, it's the best part of my summer. Are you ready? You are the light, light of the world. A city shines and can't be hidden. Let your light shine for all people so they will see and praise the Father. You are the light, light of the world. A city shines and can't be hidden. Let your light shine for all people so they will see and praise the Father. Jesus, please shine, shine. your light shine before all people so they will see and praise the Father Jesus please shine shine through me Jesus Thanks for singing, everybody. Whether you're at home or in the room, you can grab a seat.
All this week for Day Camp 4, we've been having Wes Lindy as our speaker, and he's coming up to talk to us tonight at Q-Town Live. So give it up for Wes Lindy! Well, hello campers at home. We are so glad to see you here. My name is Wes, and I'm the speaker at Day Camp number 4. We have had such an awesome time here. But we are missing you guys, and some of you had me as a speaker before. You may remember some of my stories, like the moth that flew in my ear, or the skateboard ramp that I took off with my BMX bike. Um, there's lots of stories. In fact, there's a brand new story I've never said at camp before. I'm excited to share that with you. It happened last summer after I spoke at Camp Quano. So it's great to be here. I'm here with my family, and we are loving it being here. But again, so glad that we get to be uh, spending time with you tonight. So, this is your chance to have Q-Town, and um, this is going to be awesome. So, your theme for this summer is Light It Up, because you're campers. You're virtual camp campers right now. So, let's start with the theme verse, because I think it's important to make sure that we're really well known with this, this theme verse. And that comes from John 12, 46. So, I'm going to read this for you, and then we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about that, okay? So this is John 12, 46. And it's the theme verse for this summer. Light it up. Your summer. And again, this is your Q-Town. So let's enjoy listening together today. So this is Jesus talking. I have come as a light to shine in this dark world so that all who put their trust in me will no longer remain in the dark. Like, hasn't it been such a crazy world this, this past few months? Like, hasn't it been just so feeling dark? The very fact that you're not at Kwanos right now and you wish you could be is a really good example of that. That things are just not the same. And we feel that. We feel that and we feel it for you and we wish it could be different, and, but it's not, unfortunately. But the cool thing is, is that we can still do this and, that, and, the, and the thing that I want you to understand tonight is this. The only way to light up your world the only way to have any cure for the boredom and the darkness that you see in the media and all the stress and anxiety and all the things that are in your life right now, because I'm sure there's a lot. The only way that it, there's a cure is through Jesus. He is the only one that can light it up. Now, here's, start the, here's the story, and I'm going to have to explain a little bit to, to you to get you right into the mix of what's going on, Okay. So just after I spoke at Quanos last summer, my family uh, decided we would travel all the way across Canada. Like we got all into our van and we were so excited and we traveled all the way. So we were going days upon days upon days going across this beautiful country called Canada. So we went through all the provinces and then we got to this one part in a province called New Brunswick. Now, New Brunswick um, has this awesome little spot just outside of Moncton called Magnetic Hill. And what was cool about that is that we got to see what this Magnetic Hill looked like. If you turn off your vehicle and you allow it to just take you, it's an optical illusion, but you allow you to take you, you actually get move. It moves your vehicle. And so that's why they call it magnetic because it feels like this gigantic magnet is pulling your vehicle um, backwards and it's just crazy it's really cool and if you want to look that up i challenge you and encourage you to go google it and you can learn all about magnetic hill but not yet because you're still listening to my story so the rest of my story goes like this i get we come out of magnetic hill and right outside of magnetic hill before we get to the highway there's this frontage road and we were all happy. We were kind of excited, talking about what was happening. And as we moved forward in, in, our, in our vehicle, what happened was this big truck, this big rig truck. So it's a, you can imagine this big truck and a huge big box on the back of it was going by. And I couldn't see anything on the other side, even though I knew there's a McDonald's over there. I knew there's some stuff over there. And there's a big truck come by. And I was just about to pull out, but I thought, yeah, it'd be good if I just allowed this truck to go in front of me. I don't want to get hit today. So we let this truck go in. I looked both ways, make sure everything is clear. We move just behind this truck. And this is what I saw. A little hot pink sports car 
with a lady in it that was very, very angry with me. In fact, she was waving her fist and making sure that she knew that I, or she said that I knew that she thought I was number one in her books. And I, we were pulling in behind her, and her little yappy dog, her little purse dog was in the back seat, and it was yipping at me too, and she's just screaming these obscenities at me. And at that moment, I didn't know what was going on, but I knew that I was pulling on right in front of her, and she, got, she thought I was going to hit her, but I was far away from her. So I felt like that was a little unjust. That wasn't fair. But anyways, this feeling inside of me was like, how dare you yell at me? I wasn't going to hit you. Who do you think I am? And so this little bit of me just feel, felt like I was going to throw my fist up and tell her that she was number one at the same time. But thankfully, I stopped. I decided, you know, I probably shouldn't be a pastor, a Christian, and believing in Jesus and yelling and screaming at this person. That wouldn't be a good witness. And so we slowed down. I just took my breath. We drove up behind her. And the funniest thing happened. So just after all this happened, it all happened so quickly. But the whole van, my whole family, burst out laughing. They were laughing so hard. And I didn't realize what was happening until someone in my van said, what? She gets all upset. And then she pulls out in front of you. And her license plate says, spoiled. And I was like, like, how funny is that, that she, she's all spoiled and, and just kind of like, and here she is yelling at us and thinking that she's the best and that I'm not the best. And it left with me this feeling where I was just so bothered by it because it was so unfair for so long. But it reminded me of this, that no matter where we are, I mean, I'm a pastor and I'm a speaker at Camp Quanos in B.C., New Brunswick's a far enough way away that I could probably get away with some things. And I could, I could swear, I could, I could tell her off, I could do all sorts of things. But I'm glad that I didn't. Because this is a dark world that we live in, isn't it? And this dark world would want me to just join in to the, the mishap and just say, well, you know, you aren't doing what's right. But I took the high road and I decided, okay, no, I won't share that with her. I would be courteous. Actually, I think I waved at her. I smiled. Probably made her more mad, actually. But I just wanted to be gracious and helpful to the situation. Even though I was so bothered for days, I was still like, oh, this woman that's just, just yelling at me, and it just wasn't fair. And so I wanted to share that story with you because there is a difference between living for the light and living in the darkness. I mean, it's easy to do the dark thing, isn't it? It's easy to, to just do what you feel and just tell someone how you feel, even though it, it may feel good, it may not be the best thing um, to be a good witness for Jesus. And so for me, it made more sense, it was more important for me to, to be a good example in front of my family, but also to her, even if she, I never meet her again to make sure that she knows that I wasn't going to respond the way that she wanted, she probably wanted me to. So Jesus wants us to live a life that is good, to be, to be a, a light. We want to be living in the light. This week at our day camp, we talked about a lot about how we need to live in the light and that, that Jesus is kind of like a, a flashlight, actually, where he... He's kind of like, we're like, we're the flashlight, and he's actually the battery. So we don't know where we're going in this life, and we actually need him to show us where to go, to do the right thing, to help us to know what it looks like to have our life lit up. And that we actually can't do this on our own. That we can't live a life that's full of light and full of goodness and faithfulness and righteousness, because those are things that are found in Jesus, and we just don't have that in us. Not on our own. We may for a time be good, good enough for a little bit, but we never be perfect. I think it's important to understand that who you are, who you are created to be is, is, is good, and God created you that way, but God also created you with a need of him. And that you can live your whole life and do great things and do things, but unless you're doing everything, like giving your life to Jesus, you're still not living life to the full potential. In fact, Kwanos' main theme for ent its entirety is life like no other. So 
you can't live life like no other without Jesus. And some of you have really been hurting. You've really been struggling through COVID, through a whole year of waiting for camp, and then it's not there. I understand that's so disappointing. So maybe this is a chance for you to, to listen to what God might be saying to you right now. To be thinking, well, maybe, maybe there's some things I can change in my life. And for some of you, you've, you've committed your life to Jesus in the past. You've done it at camp. You've been so excited, and yet you slipped away, and you've, you've, you've struggled in your walk with Jesus, and you're not living in the light anymore. You're stumbling around in the darkness. And you really wish that you would have the light back. You really wish that you would be focused on the light of Jesus in your life. And I know that must be hard. But what I want to offer you today, whether you've known Jesus before or you haven't, I want to offer you an opportunity to reclaim that. That you can have a light, a life that is lit up by Jesus. And wherever you are, if you're watching from all across this province, if you're watching from other provinces, as I know some of you are, they've texted into me today, it's so important to understand that you need to live for Jesus and I, I know that you want to do that. And so I want to encourage you to think that through tonight. Ask yourself, am I living a life that is what Jesus would want for me? Or am I living the easy road, which is just to live whatever I feel and whatever I feel like doing, I just do, even if it hurts somebody. That even if it's a, a lie, you may think that it doesn't bother anybody, but you know that eventually it comes out and all things get exposed at some, some point. Maybe, you, maybe you've experienced that. Maybe you've been on one end of, of the gossip that, that has been thrown around or the bullying that's been happening in your school. And it's hard to live a life in the light. Well, I want to encourage you today that you can make this all right. That Jesus wants to give you a fresh start. That I know things are hard. I know things aren't the same because you're not at camp right now. And I wish that you were. I wish that you were here in this room right now um, with me and we can pray afterwards and we can talk. But what I want to give you today is an opportunity to recommit your life to Jesus because I know that's important. I know that's important for some of you. And for some of you, you've been to camp before and maybe you've even been to camp and you said, oh yeah, I'm going to commit to Jesus at some point. The speakers have talked about that before and I will. And that, that was about to happen but never did. And maybe you're thinking, oh man, but I need someone to help me commit my life to Jesus. I just don't know how. I, I want to do this, but I just don't know how. Well, if you want to do the right thing for you and you know that you're ready for this, I want to give you an opportunity to do this. And, and what I'm going to do is I, I, where, you, where you are right now, I want to give you an opportunity to pray, to, re to receive Jesus for the first time, or to recommit your life to Jesus. Just do the same similar prayer and just pray the, along the words that I say. Because it is with your, your, your heart that you believe and with your mouth that you confess. And that's what needs to happen when you become a believer in Jesus. That you can light up your life. And uh, there's going to be people online that if you have some questions first that you just think, hi, I need someone to pray with or I need someone that just help me with this a little bit. Uh, there's going to be some people online. You can go online right now and you can just click on that prayer button and you can just w walk right into that and they will help you. If you want someone to, beyond me, to lead you to Jesus, uh, by all means, please use that. A get your questions answered and go for it. This is your opportunity to do this. You may have not had the opportunity to be here, but we really want you to do this if, if you're ready. And if you're not ready, and I, I say this every time that I come and speak, if you feel like, man, Wes, you're not talking about things I really want to do. Um, that's fine. Just don't do it. I, I encourage you not to do anything. Just to, to not come to Jesus if you don't feel like you're ready. But if you are, now is the time. So if you can bow your head and close your eyes, and what we'll do right now is we're going to pray. We're going to pray for you. And just pray the words. I'm going to say I, but it's not me. It'll be you. So just I'll say those things, and you just pray along those things. You can pray them out loud wherever you are, or if you're feeling comfortable because you're with your parents or whatever, just pray in your head. That's fine too. Okay? So for some of you, and maybe for all of you, let's just join me in the word of prayer together. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, I know that I need you. I believe that you're real. That Jesus, you died and rose again for my sin. 
so that I can live a life that is free. And that you rose again so that I can live life eternally. I confess to you now that I need your forgiveness. Please forgive me. And I choose to follow you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Awesome. And you know what it says about anyone who prays a prayer of commitment like that? Is that the angels have a huge party in heaven after each person that does that. And so maybe there's lots of people out there that have done the same thing just like you today. And this is not a, a little thing. This is a huge thing. You are a child of God now. And you are, are living for him and him only now. And your trust is fully in him. For some of you who have recommitted your life, know that that's true. That your heart is for Jesus, and I understand that, and, and, and you need to know that that is true, and you've done the right thing too, and I'm so proud of you as well. And for those of you who are still thinking and still searching, keep going. I believe that if you f- seek after God, that you will find him. James 4, 8 says that if you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. So claim that promise. Remember what I said, and keep searching, and keep following after Jesus. So thank you for listening to my story tonight. You know, sometimes it's really tough to be a believer in Jesus and do do the right thing. And so I encourage you to keep on doing it. Live a life that is lit up with Jesus. He is your Savior. Thank you so much. Have an awesome rest of the summer. And I hope to see you in a future summer. Thanks, guys. Let's all pray together one more time. God, we thank you. Lord, even though we can't all be in the same room together, you've given us the means to be together, Lord, and to join together. So we thank you for that. Thank you, Lord, that you promise to be the light in the darkness. And Lord, you keep your promises. We've seen it time and time again. So we know that we can trust you when you promise to be the light in our darkness. And Lord, I know that lots of us have experienced lots of different kinds of darkness this year. Lord, some of us have struggled with with anxiety and with our mental health. And some of us have struggled with finances. Lord, uh, some people have struggled with not being able to see their friends and their family. Lord, we've struggled through uh, our plans and our hopes for the year being canceled or changed. And Lord, all these things are hard, but we know that you are good and you are the light in our darkness. So even when things feel dark, we know that you are with us. So thank you for caring for each of us so deeply and thank you for continuing to be the constant thing in our life when things seem out of control and crazy. So God, I pray that you would be with every single person here tonight who's watching, who's here in the room. Lord, whatever darkness there is, they're experiencing and they're feeling, Lord, I ask that you would be their light just the way you promised to. Lord, would you show up for each of them in the way that they need it? Lord, because we know that you know us intimately, you know exactly what we need. So God, I thank you for the love that you have for each one of our campers, Lord, each person watching, each person uh, who's been part of tonight. So Lord, we thank you for the work that you do in our lives and the way that you continue to love us all the time. Thank you, God, for what you do. In Jesus' name, amen. I used to think that I, I was already alive I didn't have a clue that it could be like this Even though you take a breath doesn't mean you're living yet I'm finally waking up and I'm going somewhere now I'm Going somewhere now I'm feeling so alive Cause I put you down
them for me. E e e yeah, you make me so alive. No matter what you say, we don't have to be afraid. We know we're not alone. We know we're not alone. We're connected, you and me. So much possibility. When you see that there is hope, when you see that there is hope. Now I'm feeling like I'm feeling so alive. I'm so alive. I've been free, it's because of what you've done for me. E -e -e -e, yeah, you make me so alive. A hundred billion light bulbs illuminating. So alive, hundred billion light bulbs illuminating my way. Our hearts pound to the sound of the song you make. We're never for you now. We're looking to you to bring it on, ring the gong. Yeah, we're feeling so alive, feeling so alive. I know that I, I'm feeling so alive, feeling so alive. Well, I hope you enjoyed Q-Town Live tonight. Uh, thanks for joining with us. Um, you know, Wes, you shared some great things to say. I loved seeing the band up on the stage. And I just want to remind you that while you were watching, we had a whole bunch of our staff here in Q-Town. So really, uh, we were doing this all together. I love our theme verse this summer. Um, this is where it's found in John 12, 46. I love this verse. This is Jesus speaking. He says, I've come as a light to shine in this dark world so that all who put their trust in me will no longer remain in the dark. What a great promise. I really hope that you can stay connected with us through the summer and, and through the fall. And there's many, many updates happening in all of our various social media uh, channels. We're gonna do another Q-Town Live uh, later this summer, so stay tuned uh, for that. Don't forget Q4U, very first brand new variety show at Camp Quantos happening in one week, Wednesday, 8 p.m., Online. If you need some Qantas clothing, don't forget Beach Betty's is online. Our next Qantas MC event is this Friday at 8 p.m. Uh, then it's most Mondays through the summer, summer at 8 p.m. as well. Just go to our website and get the information on that. I want to tell you one other thing as well. You've you heard that as well. Uh, Abigail mentioned it on July 29th. So that is in just a week. Uh, we are launching a 10-day donation drive and an online auction. Why? Uh, to help Qantas continue and to continue on into the future and so we'd love you for you to be a part of that as well I uh, also want to talk to people that just finished high school if you're still thinking about your post high school plans uh, our Kaleo program is going full speed ahead and we still have a space for a few uh, so you may want to check into that as well if you're on the island remember day camps are happening every week right to the very end of the summer for ages 8 uh, to 18 just contact us we'd love to have you come and join in uh, to a day camp I want to say on behalf of all of the staff here at Camp Quantos, uh, we want you to know how much we miss you. We've been praying for you, uh, thinking about you, 
and we look forward to seeing you back here live uh, and in person sometime soon. But before then, we're still thinking about you. We're still praying for you. We want to look for ways to connect uh, with you. And if there's ways we can support you, just let us know. Uh, we would love to do that. Thank you so much for being part of Q-Town Live tonight. Live.